Hello everyone, this is Duke, and welcome back to an episode of Resolute SMP. I am here in the barn yet again for another episode, and you'll see, there are four horses. If you recall from the last video, there were only three, and we did try to reach another level of horse. <laughs> well, actually, we were aiming for two mules that we could put in here for now for Nate and Night Fox. However, we had some big old issues big old issues with big techs actually I take that back big techs was willing I don't I don't know what's going on with the rest of them today we fix that we're gonna take out two leads each you can see I have a bunch of golden carrots so we're actually gonna fix this with pepperoni so naturally if you recall from last episode our, our buddy Nate was really interested in the idea of naming a horse Papa John's having something better ingredients better pizza so naturally the start of the bloodline will be Pepperoni. But Danger Zones is freaking out a little bit, so... Perhaps Pepperoni will have a one-off child, because mules can't reproduce, unfortunately. If you follow me out here, Danger Zone, just for a moment, I think maybe you're feeling a little bit better today. Let's see how you do this. Oh, those are two hearts! Yes! A mule! Oh, it's... Perfect. It looks exactly like I anticipated. So, I suppose that's a good thing. If it didn't, I would be rather confused. And it is getting away from me right now. Let's go grab another lead. Hello, buddy. You'll you'll be Nate. Because you were birthed from pepperoni. And we're gonna have to give... Oh! Actually, was pretty happy about that. Good little guy. Alright, come on. I think we'll, we'll use... Well, we have to use Danger Zone again for another mule. Hmm. I think Big Tex for Night Fox, just because that does seem to be the fan favorite. Kind of feel bad for Clara all of a sudden. There's not, not a whole lot of love for an Appaloosa. I don't know why. We do have this nice paint horse named Pepperoni. We did exactly what I needed. So thank you, Pepperoni. And we will... <laughs> I will like furnish the barn at some point I am realizing it's not there at all yet but we will big old Tex let's come on out here and I'm realizing I'm just gonna have to sit you out here for a moment with danger zone so you can just talk things over but I'll be back once the time limit is up it'll be it'll be on to the next so I do need to head on over to the spawn house location because there is actually something a little bit more exciting for us today. So I've been doing a little bit of fishing, right? Just just a little bit. Hello. Hello, Golden Carrot. <laughs> I've been doing a little bit of fishing, right? Because I know you can get mending books, and that would be pretty darn sick. I have no villager set up, even though there's a village right over there. Perhaps we'll do that in the near future. Or somebody will, I don't know. It might be me. It'll probably be me. Nevertheless, if we check inside of this chest here, I've been getting a little bit lucky here, and you'll see I have a fishing rod with mending, and I also have a bow with mending. I caught those maybe five reels apart. Like, I cast out my line probably for about an hour, and I was having some decent success. I found a bunch of saddles, which you just saw. However, once I struck this b mending bow i had the fishing rod maybe 30 seconds later it was incredible no mending book and actually these books i've enchanted except for I think the bane of arthropods one was a random but either way things are going absolutely fantastic and i'm gonna keep fishing i i really kind of want the idea of fishing to be a big thing and if you come out back here in the kind of less than desirable savannah I know, it's kind of horrible that I backed up my house right to it, but I'm thinking if I clear out a little bit of an area here, have a little inlet, the smallest of bays, I might just create myself a little bit of a fishing area strictly for the neighbors that I currently do not have. I will say Night Fox has begun, but I will not focus too much on that going forward. And Nate just went straight ahead and has a has a base set up elsewhere all right you two are you ready it is go time i hope i hope it's been long enough i hope i've rambled on long enough for both of you 
Danger zone? You ate it. You're just continuously eating them. I don't know, that seemed like a lot. Okay, Danger Zone has done it again, where he just, just demolishes these things. Big Tex was ready. It's kind of like we've seen this before. I got one use out of Danger Zone, which is excellent. This mule is jumping for joy. Or terrified, I can't tell. But either way, Danger Zone is just not up for it. <sighs> well, Night Fox, you might have to wait a moment. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. We'll figure it out. We are out here in the swamp that I don't have a name for. We're calling the company Swampy Duck, at least currently. That'll be that'll be the title. I don't exactly know what we're gonna call the area, but it is an industrial zone. It is gonna be entirely by canal boat, and it's gonna feel like a little bit of a city here. I don't, I don't know. If anybody has any ideas, let me know, please. But you can see I've started to do a couple things here because remember the whole reason we came out here so early in the series was not because I wanted to get away from everyone and jump right into building a base, but instead. The whole idea was losing cactus, apparently. The whole idea was setting up stuff so we can get our spawn house going. So, as you see, very simple. The easiest farm in the game. Anyone could do this. Good old cactus farm. And it is, you know, fully automatic, so that part's really cool with no redstone involved. Simply, cactus, fence, cactus grows up, hits fence, pops off, you lose occasional. And it, sometimes they go on the side, that's not great. But there's water in here. And it flows down into the chests below. Don't know why I didn't grab a boat. And we have, you know, two and a half stacks of cactus currently, which is fine because I'm realizing this is going to be an area I traverse quite frequently and it's just going to keep running. So I'm already probably over the amount of cactus I need. Additionally, outside of green dye, we needed a lot of honeycomb. So we've gone ahead and loaded up all of the bees we captured in today's episode. Captured. I'm sorry, fellas. I, <laughs> I, I didn't mean didn't mean it like that. Uh, but they are producing honey, and it's currently manual for me. But that's okay. As long as you don't fly under there, which I don't think you can, so we're good. The babies I have to worry about. They're just producing honey, and we will get there. We will wax all of the copper. It'll be fantastic. But what is this giant conglomerate of... <laughs> just hideous well my friends one must one must know something about Duke so I typically have mentioned well actually I did mention this earlier in the series I typically stay very very similar to what I built I do the same thing over and over again a lot of stone a lot of wood nothing too crazy in this series and in this zone in particular i'm trying two things on this what is going to be my storage house which we're going to actually use barrels because chests are entities and that's lag we are going to try two things the first being we're going to start this build by building with a single block and get a form down that we like we're going to have vaulted ceilings we're going to have an ioa here with kind of two wings to it don't know how that'll work but we're at least going to have a form down. The second is that we are building this inside out. So we're getting a layout that we like on the interior. And then once that's all done, we'll step back and see how to kind of encase it. And I think between the two of those things, we're going to really be, we're going to really be learning. Okay. Like right now. Yes. I'm sure there's at least one person who's going, Duke, you've lost your mind. This is terrible. And you're probably right, but it won't be, at least I hope not. Anyways, that'll be for a later episode. We're going to learn. We're going to become better builders in this series. I think it is time for y'all to see what I've been up to with Nate recently because, uh, well, <laughs> let's just say we got into a bit of fun with the raids and perhaps the server, um, well, the difficulty is strange, isn't it? You'll see what I mean in a second. Hello, Mr. Nate. Are you here? 
Hello, I'm, yeah, I'm on the other side of the water. Come oh, on over. Oh, there you are. Whoa. Come on over to the construction site. <laughs> I, I see that. There's a lot going on. You don't have a beacon. No, uh, no, no, no beacon. Uh, no need, to be honest with you. No need. Because we're doing this the old-fashioned way, Duke. Um, we're digging out all this land from here all the way over to this area where it kind of just happens to dip, uh, dip back down again. Oh, that's uh, actually clutch, yeah. So, it's going to take a while, but when it's done, you know, huh? Here, anyway, have, have, some, dirt. have oh. some dirt. You, you oh. should take some dirt. I really you needed this. Some. I actually realized I have something for you if if you'd like this oh. as payment. You, you might I really would, like yeah. it. Yeah, you're trying Oh, well, now this is something. My goodness. Yeah, yeah, good old. This has got at least three uses left in it. <laughs> yeah, if you see some stone lying around here, you might be able to grab the three you're standing on. Look at that. Stone block. New recipes unlocked. Let's, <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Do you want any help? I mean, honestly, no. I mean, oh, oh, okay. if you want to, like, supply me with some diamonds for picks, maybe. That's about it. <laughs> uh, See, so I was willing to put in my, my hours, but, you know, I actually need my three and a half stack of diamonds for something. So I heard, I, yeah. I, 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 can't. I heard there was something about that. Ah, what a wonderful day. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no! The village! They're going to freak out. Oh, they're running! They're Dear villagers, running. run for the hills, I say! Don't worry. Duke and I will protect you, and some of you have to live, by the way, because I this is the closest village to my house. All right, there we go. Oh, hello. Dead. Let you take Big care guy, of that guy down. Oh, wait, that's it. W. <laughs> w. <laughs> Did you get a totem? No. That was like the I easiest raid ever. You go save okay. the villager. I will sleep because here There's comes the raid. The raid. There's not a bed everyone in here. Inside. Everyone inside. Everyone inside. There's not a bed in the first two houses I've been to. And it's nighttime and everyone's freaking out. Our guy is inside. Our guy is secure. I can't rest because there's monsters nearby. Oh, boy. Oh, this is actually so doomed. I'm sleeping. Oh, what a shot. Oh. Oh. Oh, my God. Hello. Oh, any problems? Let's go. Any problems? <laughs> Let's w. go. Another set down. What? Another banner. Oh, we That's won it. again. These yeah, are really a, a lot easier than I remember them being. There's no way that's it, though. Yeah. Like, there's got to be more. Okay, so I figured it out. For some reason, the server difficulty has reverted to easy, and that oh. is why. This has actually happened a couple times now. I don't know if, like, when it restarts, it just automatically oh. changes the difficulty or what. Okay, but, interesting. Well, that'll do it. Yeah, we're gonna but hey, on hard. we did two raids, Duke. We're goaded. We, I guess I guess we are. All right, round three, Nate. This is this uh, is the big one. All right, where are they? I don't know. It's, Hello? They're dying somehow. Oh, the iron golems are doing it. Look at them. Let's go, them out. golem. They this just got through the first based. wave. <laughs> There's two of them. Oh my god. It's we actually the best team ever. Clutch. Hey, we got a new banner too. <laughs> oh, good job, golem. Oh my god, that guy does half damage. What? Yeah. The axe guys oh are my serious. Oh god, I'm going to die. Wow. Okay, that's you, crazy. Did you sleep in one of these beds? No, not yet. Oh, I'm going to yeah, I'm going to right click this real quick just in case something goes horribly wrong. I slept in one. Okay, great. Oh, there's one in town. Oh, they're in town. Yeah, oh my they, god. They pulled up out of nowhere. Oh god, here comes the big boy. No, they're boy, trying dude. to axe the Oh no! Oh, oh no! God, I, <laughs> I died! Duke, I think we've made a grave mistake. I told you, man. It's a lot okay, harder well, now. This is a little more complicated. Uh. Huh. Yeah, I am currently kiting the big guy around. Oh, okay. this is. There's a witch. You're gonna have to just go for a bow with him, I think. Yeah, I need to find my bow. I got him in the water. This appears to be the best way to kill these guys. Killed the big guy? There's an axe guy yeah, on I, me, I though, and guy. he was the one who got me last time. There, that's the only guy that's left, so. 
Okay, I have I my bow emerald. back. I gotta get the emerald. I got the emerald. Let's go. Got him. Oh, we... Oh, I, I, I don't know about this, Duke. I think... Yeah, you with the bow might be the best option here. Nothing to be worried about here. No, sir. The villagers are oddly calm, given the... Uh, given what's given happening. The situation. Yes. Yeah, given the circumstances outdoors. All right, I'm going to take out this witch. Oh, there's a still another. Oh, my goodness. It's endless my witches. Back. Oh, I should not kill this last one yet. No, don't, don't, don't. Because we need to gather your stuff and make sure that we're safe. This is my new tactic. Lava bucket them. They come at oh, me. Guy. Oh, boy. Here we go. No, don't no, punch him at me. <laughs> that was I like, got him. I got like, him. Oh, the emerald burn. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm very no, dead. Don't say that. Don't say that. The power of lava. The power of love will will cure me from my ailments caused by these rude folk. Okay, you're you're actually kind of onto something though. <laughs> like what? Just just burn them. Yeah. Oh, I the house is burning. My sword. <laughs> oh well, that's that's an unfortunate side effect. That we didn't <laughs> you know, it might be. Oh boy, yeah, that's that's not ideal. Oh, there is an evoker. I gotta take a okay, shot I him. killed it. That means we have a totem. Let's go. Okay, well, that's that's kind of a oh, my my armor just broke. Why? Oh my god, he's killing villagers! Hey! <laughs> hey. Not on my watch, big guy! They do like to do that. Dead. There's another oh my way. God, there's more. <laughs> Duke, I don't know anymore, dude. If they get close enough. Oh no. Oh, there's no way. Duke's just getting ravaged. I'm not close enough. They should start putting... Oh, my God. Good night. See you later. <laughs> Good night. You know, I'm starting to think we've made a minor error. I, I, <laughs> we might have. It's a possibility. I'm I put my lava down. I don't think it's doing a whole lot. Where did it end up? Oh, there it is. Where's the evoker? We got to take care of that one. Yeah. Because it just spawns I'm like... those little guys. I'm here in my post, Duke. I'm ready for action. <laughs> or you could help. <laughs> Get over here. I hit one. Nice. I hit. The, I killed. I two. actually heard that. That was good. That was good work. Ow, he says. I only have five um, arrows. Is our mayor dead? By the way, just for the record, he's not. Let's okay. go. That's what we have to do: is make sure the mayor survives. I'm gonna be with him, actually, if you need me. <laughs> Okay. I'm going to do this on foot. Where there will be no hiding. I will do this the right way. Oh my god. They're coming. They're coming from the same direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm out of arrows. It's over. Oh my god, there they are. When I tell you the lava is actually going to win us this. You're kind of onto something. Bro, just 360 no scope me. Here. No. Dang it. I almost got the The Vex dude. won't mm. get off of me. I'm going to have to kite these guys around, I think, a little while. I think you do, yeah. Oh, I got one of the guys with the axe! Let's go! This guy sucks! There's like eight axe guys right here. Yeah, I'm kind of taking it one by one. I killed an evoker. Which, okay, I have a second huge. totem. Okay, W. Yeah. Oh! There's another one. Because I just jumped over the tombstones. Dude, you and I are really just... playing two different games here, huh? Uh, yeah. <laughs> They're all just coming for you! <laughs> This is this this is horrible. I want one of them to push over here so I can kill oh. them, but I can't. Oh, that did not sound like it went well. Not quite. Oh no! I just got hit for so many. Oh no. Oh, our villager's gonna die. Really? Yeah. Oh man. I'm protecting him, but he he's not doing so well. 
I just am not healing. I swear, every time I look at my health, it's down. Even if I haven't been hit in a while. Stop it, stupid Vex. Oh, I got one. Oh, but there's more. Oh. No! Our villager just ran out, dude. He's done for. Get back in there. I'm dead. No, go in your house! Go in your house! This is the guy! This is the mayor! Save him! Ring the bell. Ring the bell. I put a block in front of a door. Vex! <laughs> no, not again. Oh, there's one guy. I one guy. See them! One he's guy. right here. Oh my god, he's with all the vexes. He's dead. There's There's no way there. Oh, oh thank god. Oh. The vexes are still here though. Oh yeah, watch out for that one. I think I'm dead to them. But Nate, take this. Oh, that was my sword. Y'all can't hurt me. No. Here. Here, take take Oh. <laughs> it's okay, I'm getting them one by one. They indeed hurt him. Um we're gonna need some villager work here because there's none left. <laughs> the mayor survived. I'm not even lying. I'm so happy. He's in here. Let's go. Well, that was a... Uh, well, then in that by case... By technicalities, a success? Yeah, I, I think I died once. <laughs> look, at, look at the chat. <laughs> yeah, it's not good. It's um, I got my totem. Let's go. I actually have a second one here for you. Wow. Yeah. Well, maybe we should give that to a uh, Night Fox, you know? He, he wasn't able to be here for it. I guess we could leave the city abandoned and I'll take this one guy back to mine, yeah. I suppose. We we should make a memorial, actually. There's literally iron leg over here. It's just Oh, that's not good. Yeah, that's uh, that's that's unfortunate. I'm looking to see if there's any other villagers. I genuinely don't think there is. I think we wiped out this town minus the mayor. <laughs> this house was a legitimate casualty to to the fight. Yeah, we lost an entire house. Yeah, it looks like there's nobody left, man. That's unfortunate. I'm glad we got our one guy. This is gonna this is gonna take a while. <laughs> it might take a little bit, but there he goes. The, the mayor know, of a town that we never named. I need, oh. I need you to till the path in front of me. <laughs> oh, that works too, actually. Oh no, it doesn't. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, how, how did he get out? What? <laughs> what? He just walked out of the boat. It's like a it's like an evac right now. <laughs> Except that he's the only one remaining. It's so sad. It's oh the the final survivor. Oh, Wait, how are you? No, no, you just you, you, your boat got out of visual range, but you didn't. So you were just like uh. riding the water. <laughs> so I've also gone ahead and actually made a memorial for. All the villagers lost during the great raids that took place here recently. I seem to have lost the iron, so the golem will not be remembered, but the rest of them will. Very simple little setup here, just a little arch with some deep slate, got some fire behind it, and of course a nice peaceful area for those to come and reminisce about those lost. The mayor is actually still over there farming. There he is! He's trapped, and... I don't think he fully rationalizes that he's the only one left, but it's okay. We will restore this place. And there, there's even a book, which we shall now read together, titled Life Not Lost. Uh, this memorial, I should say, is in honor of the countless villager lives lost during the Great Pillager Raids of February 2024. May they sow in peace, and may the mayor restore the glory of this village. Oh. I, th I think that's how you pronounce that. I don't know. It's villager speak. And then, of course, the, the two days that the raids actually took place. If it was only the, the, the 12th, we would have been fine. When the server was on easy, they survived. But, of course, when, when that was all changed, things got a little carried away. We even lost a house. Uh, it's not something to laugh at. Very serious. It's just fun. Just a little bit of some lore, and the villagers will live on in our hearts forever. Alright, now before we end today's episode, I would like to first point out that I have replaced a lot of the acacia trees with cherry. Because I didn't like having to look at all the yellow, like we talked about. This is much nicer. There's, there's falling petals and, and everything. It's great. And then it's lush and green and happy over there. Oh, we'll have town down in here and up there and maybe we'll well 
I, I don't want to. I don't want to talk about what's going to happen to the villagers. But there was something we talked about in today's episode, and that was briefly mentioned about how many diamonds I have and how many I'm going to have. Now, one of the things I'm trying to do in each episode is to make sure that I have at least a stack of diamonds from that episode. So here's three full, and we're nearly to our fourth, and we have a couple deep slate to look at. So the idea there, of course, is to, well, I don't really know if there's a reason behind it, but I really like the idea of keeping myself mining and keeping myself going. Obviously always doing something in an effort to just end up with a bunch of diamonds. I mean, who, who doesn't want that? So as you can see in statistics, I believe, the time mine, the natural blocks. So yeah, we're up here, 271 mined deep slate diamond ore. And of course, a little bit of that is carried over with um, silk touch, which which means that number's a little bit inflated. However, that being said, I'm also using a fortune pickaxe to mine this up. So we had 19 placed here. We're gonna get a bit more than 19. And it should be, unless something goes horribly wrong and the game glitches and I fall out of my chair and my computer bursts into flames, we should be able to take the 56 and round that up into 64. So there we are. All right, and we're even halfway over the next stack for next episode. So yeah, I'll only have to get a little bit more for episode five and we'll be cruising along. Very, very nice. That means we can wrap up today's episode and that is exactly what we will do. Thank you ever so much for watching everyone. I hope you have enjoyed the shenanigans thus far. You know, every episode kind of gets derailed, and we just end up doing fun things with the guys instead. And I think that's great, and I would love to have new members on here, which we will soon enough, as I briefly discussed. But, in the meantime, hope you've enjoyed what you've seen so far, and a lot more to come. Thank you for watching, have a good day, Bye bye